everyone, welcome back to One Late Night on the Bard Actor channel. This is episode two. Uh, I'm Bard Actor, and I want to thank you for coming back for uh, this this second episode on the Bard Actor channel. Uh, we're going to pick right up where we left off on One Late Night. Loading now. So, I uh, want to thank you if you did watch the first episode of the Bard Actor channel. Uh, on one late night. Uh, had a great time doing it. Learning a lot as I'm going along here, so uh, do I want to ask your patience. Apparently, uh, in creating the video, I, I somehow had a nice little drag effect between the audio and the video. Uh, I'm still learning on how to put all this stuff together, so apologies. If anybody has uh, some good suggestions with regards to hardware or software, I am completely all ears as I am still in research mode and would love to get your feedback, constructive feedback, on uh, things that I can uh, purchase, uh, download, uh, uh, purchase uh, to enhance my recording and editing experience. So if uh, anybody wants to take this uh, actor under the wing, I'm more than happy to listen. Phone's ringing again. That's really weird. Okay, all right. When we last left off, we were... Why is the phone ringing, but I can't get to it? Okay. All right, yes, they... They see us. Uh, if, if you don't remember, uh, last last uh, last time here, we we uh, we were able to get into Robert's office. Uh, we were looking for. Uh, uh, oh, there's a note on the desk now. There wasn't a note on the desk earlier. The last time there was just a uh, Ouija board, and the light was on. That was weird. Okay, so. Uh, now we have a note on the desk, and it says, check my drawer. Well, Robert, I, that's a little personal, and uh, definitely check my drawer after playing this game, because it's, it's, uh, it's scary. I have to admit, for an indie game, this is, it, this is amazing. The, the, the light is your friend. This hero machine won't stop. And it's kind of freaking me out. Alright, let's back up here. See if we can't get the flashlight. No batteries. I better look for some. Okay, yeah, okay. That's great. I mean, we've got lights. We've got lights going on. I would print it hello again. Looking for batteries. Oh shit. Oh hell. No. Oh. Okay. That that is freaky as hell. Alright. Uh Okay. Uh, right now, I'm right just trying to check everything, I guess, for batteries. I'm trying to find batteries and trying to see what I can touch. I want to touch everything. Nothing. Come on, close, close. Somehow I have a feeling that I'm going to be running out of time here. Because things are picking up in this office. It's getting... Freakier and freakier. Is that a battery? <gasps> it's a battery! Got a battery. Take the battery. It's a new battery in that. Let's, uh... Let's get back in here. There was stuff in this cabinet. Okay, well, apparently there's nothing. Oh, God. Alright, that's just creepy as hell. And the heartbeat's happening again. And 
Zuka Pitas. Okay. Alright. That's right, there's no spoons in this drawer. Slowly losing my mind here. <laughs> cabinets because you know you never you're never sure where you can find a battery I think I already checked there All right. nobody down that way where's the battery is that a utility closet I can open those during there. All right, can I? Nothing. All right. And stapler. There's my stapler. This guy ain't burning down the office building, that's for sure. Here's my stapler. Break that the entire office building. Motherfucker's gonna pay. <laughs> uh, movie. Awesome. Awesome movie. So, uh, just to let you all know, while I am on this hunt for a battery, um, so I am going to start working on a, a, a new series on the channel that is going to uh, hopefully be fun and possibly help out with education. Oh, okay. So, it stopped being freaky, filtered. Um, uh, yeah, it's going to, uh, sorry, just checking on the cabinets here. Uh, basically what I wanted to do was wanted to go through all the, uh, Shakespeare plays and basically provide sort of a, uh, entertaining synopses of each of the plays, uh, especially I figured it would be helpful for anybody who's trying to have to write a paper on the plays. Oh, <gasps> battery. Got a battery. New battery. All right. Just how many batteries do I need? I, I, I don't know how to use the flashlight here. Um, so yeah, so I'm still trying to figure out what to talk about. But I think you know, sort of in keeping you with the uh, the general overall uh, flavor of horror fun, that my inaugural Shakespeare play that I will. Uh, give sort of an entertaining synopsis on will be Titus Andronicus, which is uh, Shakespeare's, oh, oh, battery, uh, Shakespeare's goriest of plays, and I gotta say, what the hell was that? What happened? Oh, that came back down. Oh, God. Oh, there's the battery. Why was the battery over there? That's just weird. All right. Uh, and I gotta say, I mean, if, you know, I think it's, it's, uh, all right, I've got three batteries now. How many batteries do you need for this damn flashlight? There's no instruction on inventory. I'm like trying to push P, T, D, tab, C, X, Y, Z, M, F1. What does F1 say? Yeah, it just says F1 behind this note. Um, so yeah, uh, oh god, oh shit, oh shit, oh, sorry for cursing, but damn, okay, woman, you're freaky, and you're over there, so I'm gonna, oh, oh god. Okay, that was really weird. I mean, I gotta admit, the the atmosphere in this game is 100% creepy. Ah, it's playing off the radio. That's oh, 
that is wrong. Okay. Well, see, it teaches me for bringing an antique radio. Have you noticed that I don't have my pen anymore? Just thought that was interesting. All right. Uh, can I open that drawer? No, can't open that. Drawer. Anyway, Titus Andronicus is uh, is definitely one of his goriest, his earliest, but I think it's his tightest revenge tragedy. And possibly one of the best revenge tragedies uh, ever written. Um, it gives you exactly what you want uh, with a revenge tragedy. Okay. All right. So the whole I see. Oh, crap. Here we go again. Ah, oh, Jesus. Woman, where are you? God, this scares the crap out of me. Because I'm hearing these clicks and these dings and... She was right there. She's not there anymore got three batteries. I mean, how many other batteries do I have to get? Okay. I'm going to be honest with you, too. I, I did pl uh, play uh, this a little bit. Now, I am well past the point of where I'm where I have played up to before, but I can swear a battery up here in this cabinet, but apparently there is not. Okay, all right. Well, I tell you what, we're going to uh, get back to the office. Or I can save the game and hopefully pick this thing back up uh, with some more hunting of the battery. <laughs> I might actually uh, see if I can't get the battery. Oh god, this is just not right. Alright. Can't grab anything else. Heartbeat now that's kind of freaking the hell out of me. I assume it's our heartbeat. I assume that uh, we are trying desperately to stay calm. I do not like the fact that it. Oh god, here we go. Closing the door. Gotta hide underneath the desk because it's getting to that point now. Can I hide? I'm supposed to be able to hide. There we go. Hiding. <laughs> Ooh, can't open that door. Okay. I'm not. I'm not afraid to 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 be. Uh, um. Uh, I'm not. I'm not afraid. I'm, I'm not afraid to be afraid. You know. I. I. I am completely willing to embrace the, uh, the, the the flight of the fight or flight in me, <laughs> especially since like, the mechanics of the game apparently are designed that there ain't no fighting going on. If anything, you're going to try to save your butt here. From what I can gather, any time that this starts to happen, where everything looks old and scratchy, she's out and about. 
and there's a click, which I think, based off of all the notes, everything, the lights go out in some place where she is lurking around. Should I? De- I should do it. I, I, what am I gonna do? Spend the entire episode just hiding underneath the desk? But that's how you hide. You you hide by getting close to the desk. Okay, there's nothing in that drawer. Um, getting close to the desk. Watch, well, she's gonna be like right outside this door. Right outside this door. Oh, oh God, thank God. All right, sounds like uh, the light switch came back on again. All right, there's nothing in that office. Looks like most of the lights came back on. We have not gone to this office. I'm pretty much leaving. <gasps> there we go, fourth battery. How many batteries? Well, I guess maybe four batteries. Okay, battery used. So that's four batteries. How many batteries to a flashlight, guys? Uh, usually I thought it was like three. Hell, I thought it was two. Okay, I cannot touch. Alright, we've got four batteries now. Unless I had this count incorrect, but we got one there. We got one in the hallway. We got one there. Well, maybe we only got three. No. I want to say we got. Okay, search there. Let's try ICU area. Do we see anything here? Stephen King once said that, and I think beautiful, you know, is that the best horror deals with a monster that you do not see, that you do not know where they are or what they look like. Because once you see the monster, then you can deal with the monster. Along those lines. Basically, he described it as seeing the zipper in the monster outfit. Okay, let's check and see what's in here. Is there anything in here? Check my own office for a change. Alright. Nothing on the desk. Check my drawers. And I've checked my drawers. Alright, well, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to stop there for now. Let's get back to the login. And, uh, yeah, you don't need to, you need to see me uh, do this. We're going to save right here. We'll pick right back up, uh, hopefully trying to figure out just how many batteries does it take to turn on a flashlight. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming by, and the rest is silence. <laughs>